지워 벌써 열두시 has come back with another single. It's about a freaking curfew, uh, as far as I know, and it's an absolute bop, so let's check it out. Right off the bat, Chang'a expresses her attraction towards another man. She says how she likes 말을 놓는 것도. Now I translated this to speaking easy because I couldn't find a better way to translate it without hurting the flow of the song. But if you translate this phrase directly, it means uh, dropping the honorifics. As you may know, in the Korean language, there are these things called honorifics. It's basically a different form of uh, the Korean language, very slightly altered. And you use this form of Korean language when you are speaking to elders or when you're speaking to people that you're not close to. Strangers or business partners, people that are not in your personal level of relationship. Usually the point when you drop the honor of fix is when you decide to take a relationship to a more personal level. So for example, if you're like a business partner or if you're just like a formal, met in a formal setting and you decide to become closer friends uh, or perhaps uh, she's your love interest and you decide to make this romantic, you ask them, can we drop the honorifics? So here in Chang'a's song, in this particular situation, her saying that um, he, she likes how he dropped the honorifics means that she and him are getting on a personal level of uh, interest with each other, uh, perhaps a romantic level of interest, and she is enjoying that situation. <laughs> these lyrics you can tell that Chang'a has spent the entire day with this man because the color of the skies have turned from blue to black. It's obviously turned into night. During this time, the two have developed very deep feelings for each other as Chang'a expresses as weird feelings between the two. <laughs> the song takes a turn. Uh, so during the verses, Chang'a was talking about how she's really attracted to this guy and the, the guy is also attracted to her. But now in the chorus she says, oh, but it's too late. It's already midnight and she has to leave. They both know they have feelings for each other and they are thinking about the same thing, probably alluding to sex. However, Chang'a says she has to go. It doesn't really clarify why she has to go other than that it's late and it's midnight. But from my Korean perspective, I can think of two quite possible reasons. First being a curfew and second being she doesn't want to sleep with a guy on the first date because she doesn't want to look like an easy girl. First of all, regarding curfews. Well, this might seem really, really random for you guys. Um, actually, in Korea, it's very, very common for adults to live with their parents way into their adulthood. A lot of them actually live with their parents until they get married. And a lot of the times, these parents will enforce a curfew on their kids, even if they are full grown ass adults. This is especially true for females. I've, I've rarely seen sons get uh, enforced a very strict curfew. But a lot of times, the daughters, the girls, even when they're like 30 years old, they have these curfews that their parents enforce on them. It's insane, I know. Apparently these parents think like, if these kids stay until past midnight or past 11, 10 p.m. for for the matter, uh, these kids are gonna do drugs or these kids are gonna get murdered on the streets or whatever. Regarding my second interpretation, I think it's very common, even in other cultures, but especially in Korean dating culture, for the woman to refrain from sleeping with uh, her partner even though even if she really wants to and even if she really likes him because a uh, she doesn't want to give 
of the vibe that she's a very easy girl who sleeps around with other men uh, and is very easy to sleep with. And B, uh, she doesn't want the guy to lose interest in her because he slept with her. I've actually seen guys and girls wait an entire year after their girlfriends and boyfriends uh, to have their first sex. It's, it's insane, I know. <laughs> Here, Chang An leaves a little bit of room for hope for the guy. Uh, she says she's latching on to the string. Well, this is a very commonly used Korean expression. We say, We're holding on, we're latching on to the last string of sanity and reason. This means that we're holding on to our last ability. We're barely managing, but we're still holding on to that last uh, thought of reason and sanity and not caving in to our desires and our inner urges. So here, when Chang'a uses this phrase, it basically means that she's, she's really, really wants to stay with the guy, but her inner mind, she's holding on to that last latch and saying, okay, I gotta go home. But she also admits that she might just let go and just cave into her desires, let her desires take care, take control over her body and her mind if she stays any longer. The lyrics in this song are really, really great because these are things that every single Korean guy and Korean girl has probably heard in their dating life inside South Korea. I've heard that many, many times, like, oh, I have a curfew, it's like at 12, it's at 11, it's at 10 p.m. Uh, to be honest, like, that could also be just a lie and they just want to go home and don't want to be with me. Anyway, while explaining this, I just came to realize how little freedom sometimes women are given in the Korean society well into their adulthood. Like a freaking curfew. Like Chunga is 24 years old in Korean age. She's a full grown ass adult and she could be graduating college. She could be a college graduate at this age. And she's singing about a freaking curfew and it's relatable not only to her but to people of my age like her not being able to stay with her boyfriend or her love interest because she has a freaking curfew I just gotta say like I really respect and I really feel bad for the women that are in Korea that have these controlling parents that think their daughter is you know gonna do drugs if they stay out too late. If she was gonna do drugs, she was gonna do it anyway and during the day. It doesn't make a freaking difference. Like, not all drugs happen after 12. And I just gotta say, thank freaking God I have a penis.